Thank you. Thank you. I, uh, my name is Stephen Wynn, and I'm going to read you a poem from um, a book called Headlong, which is a collection of poems about the consumer age. Uh, and this one's called, this one's called Positivity. The great escape is on again, again, again. And I have reached my limit watching people in a pen. A flick around the channels reveals nothing else to see. But then, as if by magic, comes pure positivity. Their beaming smiles and happy tone already makes me feel at home. Their happy banter, carefree air, oh, it's so good to have them here. And everything they take to hand, there's nothing paltry, always grand. As if compelled to speak out loud of how the item makes them proud. A brush for snow with extending pole. A plastic inflating football goal. A pair of slippers, reindeer shaped. A spoon extracting pips from grapes. A pair of gloves for keypad pressing. A sprinkling jar for salad dressing. A sparkly watch that knows the temp. Recycled bag that's made from hemp. A pair of shoes quite divine. A kind of a miniature Buddhist shrine. A box to keep bananas in. A London taxi biscuit tin. One has to admire their staying power to keep their focus hour by hour. Never a moment's hesitation bringing products to the nation. Desisting never with their charm. A garden gnome with frost alarm. Never faltering with their dross a case for storing candy floss. Every object described with glee, a dog-shaped caddy for making tea. From praise they're never allowed to yield, a Star Wars Jedi memorial shield. It's as if to the job they have been born, to never point at things with scorn. An endless stream of mindless praise fills, from morn till dusk fills all their days. I have wondered if it be that released from camera scrutiny, there is some special off-screen cell with padded walls and acoustic gel in which they rant and rave and swear and get their fill of bottled beer. And when they have become quite drunk, they scream about the endless junk and worthless tap they have to sell and how their life went all to hell. Then, after a night of throbbing head, with barely an hour spent in bed, with coffee strong, they are replete, and makeup chair becomes their seat. The makeup girl, she weaves her magic, smiley face restored from tragic. Once deathly pallor, now flush with blood, the director cries, let's make this good. To center stage, our hero returns, rabbit oven gloves preventing burns. Resentment quelled for another day, performing dolphin made from clay. Those eyes from which all life has gone, a special dinner serving gong. A heart that's hollow and torn apart, a cushion on which to sit and fart. And now we feel his every pain. Can we ever watch this channel again? A lesson here for all to see, the dark side of positivity. Thank you very much, thank you. Steve Unwin, ladies and gentlemen. That was great.